how frustrating is this? I mean, you had to come for leads. And, yeah. yeah. Next question. Jason, late in the, the game, um, on that final drive, you guys yeah. got backed up first and 20. Yeah. Um, what did you make of the play calls, and what did you make of the execution? When we got, uh, yeah, back after, the, after the whole holding call? Yeah. Um, you know, we're trying to run the ball and get positive yards. I think we had some plays that we just didn't execute, I guess, on. Um, you know, so I, you know, obviously it didn't work out. What's your overall feel, Jason? Like what, what happened? Uh, you know, what's that sort of we offensively, we didn't play good enough. Defensively, we didn't play good enough. Um, a really, really frustrating loss. Um, so, yeah. To be this late in the season and playoffs right around the corner, <laughs> um, how worried are you about where this team is? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think that we got a lot of things to clean up. Um, I, I don't know. I don't like the word worry. I think that's a soft word. I think that we need to just be more accountable and more, you know, got to fix the mistakes. You know, defensively, we got to stop the run. Offensively, we need to be able to execute. Uh, in the run game when we need to, um, just just not collectively good enough to do. Do you feel like that accountability has been missing? For us? No, I think everybody's accountable. I just we just got to keep working at it. I'll clear that up before everybody runs with it. We just got to keep you know, trying to do your job better, trying to execute at a higher level, trying to you know know what your assignment is, and, and, and you, know, you know everybody being on the same page. So I guess that's. I think everybody here is working as hard as they can, and um, so I'd like to clear that phrasing up at a higher level as a unit and as an individual. Um, I think everybody goes through the same mental process, um, but I think how you navigate from that mental process changes, and that's where you got to have guys continuing to try and push people in the right direction. The second half, obviously, that's, that's a tough way to go. Were you guys tired? It was like a lot of long drives. Right? Uh, we just, we just didn't make the plays to win, it, uh, to help us, help us. And you know, um, I look at it like all this is, is building character for us. Like it's how we handling some of this stuff. We know that we can't give away nothing. We got to take everything. And uh, you know, I just want to get a Arizona uh, credit. They came in, they played, and um, I know for us, man, it's it's gonna happen, and it's happening. You know, uh, we just got to make it through this little this little storm right now. Um, but we believe in us. And so, end of the day, um, I know we're going to get it right. And I feel so good because, you know, we're going to go out next week, take care of our business, and then 0-0 zero, zero at that point. And everything else is one. It's, it's week to week. And so, I hope these guys just continue to keep learning from these moments right here because it's only building our character. It's only going to test us. Um, and so, how are we going to respond? So I'm, I believe in us, and I know we believe in us. So, um, man, I'm not, I'm not worried at all, but it's a lot to be learned, a lot to learn from a, from a game like this. Brandon, how does your defense not make this stop at all in the second half? Man, we just – they made plays, man. I mean, uh, when I look at the film, I'm definitely going – we're going to see, like, little things that pop up. But we ain't that far – we ain't that far away as a defense, man. Um, but, you know, most more credit to uh, Arizona. But um, – I know, I believe in us, like I said, and so um, we just we just gonna keep working, baby, because um, we we ain't get this far for no reason, and you know it don't matter what other people say. Like I tell the guys, block the noise out, because at the end of the day, it ain't gonna change nothing. It's about what we do, and so uh, I hope these moments, like moments like this, definitely help me, and it shows us on um, why we can't do little things and why this type of team we gotta when we got a chance to bury people, we gotta bury them. And so I know that's going to – I'm just going to keep speaking it because I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to start clicking even more uh, together. And, um, and like I say, we got to go finish the, finish the season off right, and then it's going to be a week-to-week -week thing. And, you know, you got to invest in it all. You got to put you got to put everything you got into it. And I'm going to give everything I got to be the best leader I could be uh, to help us um, get past this little rough patch. Why do you think it's been an issue putting teams away? Uh, you know what, man? It's, it's the NFL. And – you know, you give them a little, little inch. You know, sometimes 
people definitely start running miles on you, you know, uh, and we, we, we should have buried them that, that, that first drive coming out. That was a big drive for us, um, and we didn't we didn't get it done. No excuses, but we just didn't get it done. That, that game momentum, they gained momentum, and then, um, you know, off, offense didn't, uh, where well, they scored again, then, you know, the moment where they did the onside, we didn't, we didn't score, we got three, and those moments for defense, you know, we, we live for those moments. We just didn't come up with the play, and we let them get chunk plays. And, uh, I mean, you can say what you want on the pass interference or whatever it was, but it's all good. We, we can't put ourselves in those positions when we when we was up 21-3. I mean, 21-6. How hard is it when you're spending the majority of the game on the field as a defense? Uh, you know, it, it, it is tough when you when you don't get off the field uh, as a defense, and, you know, the goal is to get off the field. Um, but I know we it's building, and so... Um, I just say I just want to give all the credit to Arizona. They came out, they played. I mean, no excuses. I don't believe in no excuses, but you know, I know that we gonna get it. We gonna tighten it up and we're about to get a lot of guys back. You know, Slay, you know, Zach, a lot of guys. We building, we building towards this thing. And, you know, I believe in us. We believe in us. And you know, at the end of the day, just gotta get through this week, get through all the all the stuff that's about to be said about us. It's all good because we're in the postseason. It's what we do. It's what we do when it's time, to, when, it, when everything is on the line. And so, like I said, I believe in us. There's James a chance Tyner. now, Brandon, that uh, you guys will be on the road for the, for the postseason. That's cool. That's Whatever we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a position we put ourselves in. But, hey, I like I like, I like, like what we do as a, as a team. You know, just stay together at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. Because, um, you know, these moments like this definitely build character. And, you know, it's not perfect. And so... It wasn't perfect today. You know, as a defense, we didn't come through uh, like we did last week. And, you know, it's on it's on us. But I know it's on us as a, as a whole. But, you know, we just take that, especially that last drive when we couldn't get off the field and you know, make a play. Uh, we, we take that um, to heart. And we're going we gonna to get it right. And I believe. And, you know, I hope everybody else believe because uh, we ain't get here for no reason. And we're going to give everything we got uh, to make sure that we do what we're supposed to do. I mean, you got to gain confidence by playing good football. Um, obviously, we didn't, you know, play clean enough today. So, um, I don't think anybody in this in this locker room or on this team confidence is wavering or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's an any given Sunday league. You know what I mean? No matter what the records are late in the year, you know, you got to be able to stop the run. You got to be able to run the ball and all those things. You got to be cleaner in situational football. And when you're not, you're going to lose. So. That's just the reality of the situation. So we just have to be cleaner there on the on the small things, the details, the fundamentals, the techniques, and uh, that's what it comes down to. Confidence, you know, you you gain confidence when you play good football. Um, so I don't think anybody individual confidence is is bad. It's just you got to be cleaner. That's really what it is. Yeah, more stood out most about the, the run game today. <clears throat> for you guys. Yeah, obviously not watching the film just yet, but like I said, I just don't think we were clean enough on some of our run fits. I know we threw a lot of different packages at them. Uh, you know, the back had a lot of space to run. And, I mean, credit to them. Those guys blocked up pretty well, and they, uh, you know, they ran the ball well. So, uh, but like I said, I just know when we watched the film, we will see that guys weren't clean enough as far as our run fits. It's pretty late in the season. Like, how do you fix some of those issues? Uh, you know, we got to got to get to the film. You know, I think that we just got to be cleaner and understanding how we're playing certain run run schemes and different – right, if it's you got gap scheme runs, you pullers and things like that, or you got zone schemes. It's different ways you have to play those based upon our calls, and I think we just have to be cleaner on that. We still got playoffs coming up. We got one more. We got to get that one. We got playoffs, and then, you know, we got to take it one game at a time uh, to continue to try to push towards our goal. How would you describe your, your defense's effort and execution today against an offense that wasn't – it's high powered and something it's something you've seen already. Uh it's just not good enough. At the end of the day it wasn't you know, there's no way to put it. Um we just, we weren't good enough today. What was uh, the hardest part about like, not being able to get off the field and spend the ball? Right there, that's the hardest not being able to get off the field. You know, that's the that's the hardest part of it. Um, you know, they they kept extending drives, um, you know, and it's some things we gotta look at and go from there. What is that? What, what, what's going to stick with you most from this game? Man, I don't even. I don't even know. Um, I don't know. You know, we just got to see how everything shake out. You know, take it one time, one game at a time. Uh, you know, one week at a time, and go from there. Uh, you know, not what we wanted, but the season ain't over. We still got playoffs, no matter what. Um, so just you know, trying to get everything right. Uh, starting with this next game next week and get ready to make this playoff push.
what were some of the issues with the run defense today? Uh, sure. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't even. I like. Uh, Lord, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, evidently they had a, a, a good game plan, and you know they they came out and did what they you know what they wanted to do. So uh, I brought. I don't know. Uh, most definitely it's fixable. You know, it's not out of anybody's control. Uh, we just got to get together, figure out what's going to work, and uh, go from there. Hassan, what's this uh, season been like for you? Uh, just, you know, crazy, you know. It's crazy. It's, it's ups and downs, but, hey, man, we here, right? We, like I said, we still got playoffs. We got one more next week. Playoffs begin, and that's the most important thing. If you could point to one thing that's kind of missing right now from the team, been around ones that have gone all the way to the Super Bowl. What's, what's the missing ingredient right now? Man, I don't know. I, I don't know. We, I don't know. We, I think everybody, we, back to what we were saying before, everybody got to look at themselves and go from there right at the end of the day, you know? Um, saying on one person, and it ain't, it's, it's a collective effort, uh, and it just wasn't good enough. We're a few games removed now from a major coaching switch on your side of the ball, and still haven't seen the results that I think the team wanted. Is it frustrating when something like that happens and, and the results still don't follow? Uh, uh, no, I have no comment. I have no comment for that. I, I don't. Uh, I'm just uh, just doing what I'm told at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Going out there, trying to play great ball, and just doing what I'm asked to do. How disappointing, Brian, is this one? Um, it was back and forth most of the day. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. I was very disappointed. Yeah. I mean, anytime you lose in this league, especially in the fashion we did, it was disappointing. Can you kind of put your finger on what's, what's kind of going wrong with the defense you know, this past four or five months? I can't really put my finger on it. Uh, we just haven't been playing well together at the end of the day. You know, that's, I feel like that's D-line, linebackers in, back seven, well, DBs haven't played well. Played play well enough to win. What kind of stress has it put on the defense when you guys were struggling to get off the field? Definitely puts uh, some stress on you, but I mean, it's the mindset of the defense, you know, you got a lot of next play. Uh, whether it's a turnover, whether you can't get out the field on third down, so on and so on. At the end of the day, you got to line up whenever, you, uh, whenever your name is called. Over 200 yards rushing was allowed today. What about what they did on the run game was so hard for you guys to defend? I would say I feel like they had a good strategy as far as like using pullers and Missing the formation and crack blocking and whatnot. Um, it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint exactly what they were doing. Um, and also, James Conner is a good runner as well. Um, and then Kyle Murray made some plays with his leg. Um, I mean, so they got a good rushing game over there and they came in with a good plan. What's going to stand out most to you when you think back about this game? Um, no, we just didn't play well defensively. You know, uh, I feel like we, we had the game, so I think it was like 21-6. Um, and we didn't make stops when we needed to as a defense. You're a few weeks now removed from a, a major shakeup on the coaching staff, but the results haven't changed that much. Is that concerning or is that uh, frustrating at all? Um, I would say it's frustrating. I mean, we knew at the end of the day before they even made a coaching change, you know, it was on us as players. You know, we got to go out there and make a difference. Um, and they made a coaching staff uh, change, and it's still on us as players, so we got to we got to figure this out. Show up to work. That's my mindset. Um, when I'm going in tomorrow, I'll probably have to go in Tuesday. Um, and of course, I'll probably do some Monday. Probably watch the film, uh, watch a little bit on the opponent coming up, uh, get a workout in, and start the week off. Start the week off strong. Several weeks ago, uh, one of the veterans said how the biggest thing that you guys need to do when you lose a game is to not separate, to stay together. What's kind of the mindset now after you've dropped some of them? Um, like our leader was saying, you know, don't separate, you know, I think it's, of course you can watch film, it's easy for you to point the finger and say who messed up and who did this wrong, but at the end of the day, you know, it falls back on us as a whole, you know, we're a team, uh, we're a defense, um, we're very confident in ourselves, uh, we just haven't showed it, um, show, we haven't really showed it with the results, um, and we got to come back in here, uh, get ready for work, and, um, and try to improve. Do you have to say anything to Keeley after it's a tough call that goes against him? Mm -hmm. um, do you have to make sure he's not down on the soft ramp or anything like that? For sure. You know, I feel like, um, 
It was definitely a tough call. I feel like he was in good position, and I don't even think the ball was catchable, to be honest with you. Um, and of course, uh, being a young player in this league, uh, I just try to make sure I, I always tell him, man, you got to move up, move on, and line up on the next play. You know, I've been in that position before. Um, it's life of DB. You know, they're going to make calls. Whether, they, whether you like it or not, you got to line back up. Um, you know, when they're running on the ground, they're throwing them in the air, it's kind of hard to stop both of them because we're not doing our part of shutting it down. When it becomes that many rushing yards in a game, is it an issue of being physical enough or not being physical enough? What do you think? I wouldn't say that, but um, it's definitely a, a lot of things that we can fit, uh, whether we was uh, misplacing the gap or we just missed tackling or overshot the gap, um, misfits. All that plays a factor, um, but we have to watch the film, have to assess what happened. Uh, can't give you a definite answer of why or what happened, but uh, at the end of the day, it's unacceptable, and we got to do our part, and we got to make sure that we fix it. What's, what did the game plan specifically prepare you for? What did the game plan specifically prepare, prepare you guys for up front? Well, we know uh, James Garner's a good running back, or a great running back. Let's not even say good. He's a great running back. Uh, he makes plays. It's hard to bring down. Um, yeah. It's just, just uh, what we have to do. We have to make sure that we shut him down. That was one of our key points, make sure that we shut the run game down. We didn't do that and um, cause an effect going down to the wire in the fourth quarter again. And um, we just couldn't pull it out. So you guys you guys came in thinking that they were going to try and establish the run? Definitely. I mean, when you got a back like that, man, dude been in the game for how long? All those years, man. He's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. He was a tough guy last year. He's a tough guy this year. Um, we had to make sure that we stopped him, and we didn't. Got a little bit more uh, on the on the ground than we anticipated. Uh, just made the game a lot harder. Is it doubly complicated by the fact that Kyler's getting he healthy? I mean, and he's also that. I mean, he's a great player. He's a great athlete. You know, and, um, shoot, you just seen him outrun Oz. Oz is one of the fastest people I know. Um, so you know, definitely we had to keep him in the pocket. We got a little loose on that. We didn't contain him, contain him as much as we could. Um, it's just a lot of cause and effect. It's a death by inches. We made a lot of mistakes. Um, you know, a couple calls went the other way, um, but that's no excuse. We have to do better on our part. We have to make sure that we finish when we can. As the game's unfolding, what surprised you the most as you're sitting there seeing this unfold? Um, time possession surprised me. Um, I might have got to sit there in front about it. Uh, we left them the ball in their hands a lot. Um, granted, you know, uh, going into the second half, you know, we flipped, flipped the field, got a touchdown, cool, but. Um, we definitely could have got off the field a lot more faster than we did, um, and that's just that's just how it is. You know, we have to get off the field, have to get the ball back to our offense, have to get off the field, get the ball back to our offense. That's what good teams do, and we didn't do what good teams do, and uh, we just have to make sure that we go in and fix it. How painful is this knowing that now that the division is out of your control? Do you have to I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about going one and zero each week. Whatever happens, happens. Um, we're guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. We're guaranteed one game after this. And uh, we have to make sure that we do our job going forward. Um, and that starts to take care of the Giants next week. Do you think it can still be fixed and why? I mean, I always got hope. I always got optimism. Uh, we can fix this. I mean, shoot, we just have to go and diagnose it. We had to go to the doctor's office. We got to diagnose it. Uh, I know it seems redundant. It seems repetitive each week, but we have to keep on fixing it. And if we don't fix it, then we're not going to go very far. But we plan on going very far, so we have to make sure we fix it now. But how much time you guys are on the field? Were you feeling worn out at all by any of them? Not at all. Not at all. Um, it's just a matter of making the plays that comes to us. Uh, we didn't do that. I think uh, everybody's in good shape this year. Um, and that's something that I personally work on is make sure that I'm in shape enough to play the game. But um, I think everybody was in good shape. We just didn't make the plays that we needed to. And um, as we can see, uh, didn't pan out to a W, which is the most important thing.